A rapid growing demand for electricity, as well as the creation of electricity markets, have led to rapid change in the way the power grid is operated. In order to get more reliable electricity, we need to ensure that the entire system is kept safe, protected, and under control. So in this video, I am going to demonstrate this three bus network system that consists both primary and secondary or backup protection. Assume that fault is occurring here between bus two and three. In this case, this relay will act as main protection and this one as backup protection. If our main protection fails to operate or being temporarily out of service, the backup protection will operate and clears the fault. First, let us have a quick look at each of these components. We have a three-phase source uh, with phase-to-phase -phase voltage of 33 kW RMS, frequency of 50 Hz, and generator type is swing. There is a step-down transformer that converts the voltage of 33 kW to 11 kW. And nominal power and frequency is 20 MVA and 50 Hz. It is a circuit breaker and the initial status is closed by the default. Uh, and make sure that the external box is marked because we are going to control it by the relay. And this is our relay model. Actually, I have already discussed and made a video on how to model it. If you didn't watch, I recommend you to watch them first and then keep watching this video. And the link is in the description. The things that I want to mention in this video is to determine the characteristics, rating, and setting for the overcurrent protective device in order to minimize equipment damage and entrap short circuits as rapidly as possible. Next, we have a measurement block that measure both voltage and current. And we can also use it as a bus. Then we have a three separate three phase parallel RLC load connected to each of buses. In the first load, uh, we have a nominal phase to phase voltage of 11 kW RMS, a frequency of 50 Hz, and 5.2 MW active power and 2.5 MVAR reactive power. In load 2, we have 2.5 MW active power and 0.5 MVR reactive power. And in load 3, uh, nominal phase to phase voltage and frequency are the same. But active power is 2 MW and reactive power is 1.5 MVAR. This is our second circuit breaker and the settings are the same as the first one. Then we have a main or primary protective relay. The settings are the same as the secondary or backup protective relay, except the constant time delay or cycle here. For the primary protection, the delay time must be less than the secondary protection. In this example, the delay time for the primary protection is 0.04 second or 2 cycle. After 2 cycle or 0.04 second, our primary protection operates and this circuit breaker will be tripped and isolate the fault portion of the system in order to protect the circuit from overheating and prevent damage and electrical fires. If our main protection fails to trip during this time, then the backup protection must trip. The delay time for the secondary protection is 0.08 second or 4 cycles, uh, 2 times the primary cycle. Now let us look at the types of fault and see how the primary and secondary protective relay work. First, assume that fault is between phase A to ground and is occurring after 0.2 second. Now run our circuit. First, let us check the current waveform of primary protective relay. 
As you can notice, all the three phase currents operate normally till 0.2 scan. Then fault is occurring on phase A and results in a very excessive current through phase A. Then the circuit breaker trips after 0.04 second or after two cycles. If you look at the voltage waveform, uh, you can notice the same change was happening. Before 0.2 second, all the three phase voltages operate normally. Then fault is occurring at 0.2 second to phase A. And the voltage drops dramatically close to zero because the current overshoot it. And after 0.04 scan, all the three phase voltages get absolutely zero because the tripping of the circuit breaker. Now let's look at the secondary protection. This is our current graph. You can notice that the circuit breaker is not tripped, but it sends the fault as large excessive amount of current pass through phase A during fault. But when circuit breaker is tripped by the primary protection, uh, the fault portion of the circuit becomes disconnected. So only this load is energized. So it will consume less power comparing to the previous one. So in this case, less current flow in our system. You can also see the change in the graph that after the three pit, the current decreases comparing to the previous one. If you check the graph of voltage during fault, voltage at phase A is dropped almost to zero because of the overshooting of current. After isolating of the fault portion, it turns to its normal operation. Now assume that the primary protection fails. This time the secondary or backup protection must operate and trip the circuit breaker. So let us disconnect our main protection from circuit breaker and instead connect a step block to the circuit breaker to keep the circuit breaker closed and give one for both step time and initial value. Now it will work as a straight line. So let us run the circuit and see how the backup protection works. Here, if you see the current graph of phase A, uh, the circuit breaker was tripped after four cycle or after 0.08 scan. So hopefully we can say that the secondary or backup protection worked successfully. And we should see the same graph for the primary protection. Yes, actually it is the same. Uh, and this is also the voltage waveform. And now the thing is that whole system is isolated. Let us also check fault between two phases or three phases, grounded or ungrounded fault. Now assume that we have double line to ground fault. For example, fault is between phase A and B to ground. Okay. First check for the primary protection. So reconnect the relay to circuit breaker and run the simulation. Yes, you can see that fault is occurred both on phase A and B and is tripped after two cycle. If you look at this current waveform, the fault is sensed and after the isolated fault item by the primary protective relay, the waveforms turn to their normal operation. The same change you can see for the voltage waveforms. So I will stop here uh, and you can check it for the backup protection and also you can apply different types of faults. I hope the video was helpful. Thanks for watching.